the tension is palpable and you can understand why two high level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up this is ea tv Hello, our travels have taken us to the desert. We're at the King Fahd Stadium in Riyadh. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you, live coverage of this Saudi Pro League match. It's Al Hilal, and they face Al Nasser. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And teammates to play it to. Timely intervention. And introducing the starting players for Al Hilal. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Ruben Neves plays with Sergei Milinkovic Savic in the centre of midfield. And the striker today is Alexander Mitrovic. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're matching up here, so midfield domination will be key to winning this game. If they can manage that, it will then allow their fullbacks to join their attacking play. Milinkovic Savic. Can they create something from here? This looks promising. Must be! Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, the fact of the matter is the home side lead the league in goals for the best attack in the league statistically. Well, in attack, they've been so fluid at home. They just know exactly where the next pass... Can he put it away? And hit with ferocity. It was close, but not quite good enough. Al Shahrani. Good visualization and execution. Must take the lead here. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Gharib. And that's great work to keep it in play. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Milinkovic Savic. Opportunity. Well, I must say, I thought they were about to illuminate the scoreboard with the number one first goal of the contest, but not so. Well, how are they not leading here? What a chance to open the score, as you mentioned, Derek. Al Ganam. And the cross into the middle. Well, it wasn't a great header, in all fairness. And a goal kick it is. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. Yassine Bounou. the challenge that was required just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack well, there is going to be stoppage time but only the one minute and he's made headway the save was a good one so that will be all. The first 45 minutes have come and gone. A keenly contested first half. What did you make of the home side, Stuart? Yeah, we've been lauding their attacking play, but today they've just been below their normal standards. They've lacked that little bit of sharpness, but credit to them.
So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, spot on with that challenge. Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Delivered into the box. Well clattered away. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well play stopped. It is a free kick. No card, but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning. Michael Mitrovic can he put them ahead well he really tried to connect with it but a long way off target substitution time it is here and they're trying to get right into his face well the supporters think it's on opportunity a goal on the back of sustained pressure now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, this is almost perfect. Lots of curl and enough pace on it. The keeper had no chance. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And quick thinking defensively. Salem Aldosari. And the ball with Milinkovic Savic. Alexander Mitrovic. Return to Milinkovic Savic. Takes aim. That is how to keep it out of the net. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And the ball back with Al Hilal now. Well, a really good run. Salem Al Dosseri. Options in the middle. And it's come off the keeper. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Two nil now, and back underway. A move of promise on the flank, and Ronaldo prepared to fire. A deft clearance. And over the touchline for an Al Hilal throw. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Malcolm. Not away completely. He's blocked it! And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game, and once again they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous...